Next into the tank is Bow Wow Cafe. Hello, Sharks. My name is Callie Worth. Lexi Jolliker. I'm Rachel Kitt. Hi, oh, Eaters. And Samantha Kruja. And we're Bow Wow Cafe. We are asking for $60,000 for 14% of our company. At the Bow Wow Cafe, we don't just serve you, we serve your canine companion too, with sweet treats and drinks for you and treats for your dog. At our, our, at our cafe, we believe that spending quality time with your dog is a great way to build your bond. Plus, you get to relax with your friends and your family. With sweet treats and pets to love, why wouldn't you want to come? We have done a survey behind our class. Some people said that they would love to go to our cafe. Some things that they would require or want us to have are muffins, lemonade, orange juice, and hot chocolate. And we are or we are um, planning on adding them. These are our products. We have the dog bag for treats. We have a little dish for extra treats. Cupcake liners for like small things like um, cheap cream puffs and all that kind of stuff and our cups for the drinks. So Sharks, are you ready to be wowed with Bow Wow Cafe? Yeah? Yeah. So where will that cafe be located? Mound. In Mound? Yes. But we are hoping that in the future to expand to other areas in the United States. Oh. So how did you guys pick out a target market for this product? It's kind of a unique company, so. We found out about it. Well, um, there's one in Japan, okay. but and in New York, but people had a lot of problems with them because one was because the dogs were jumping on like the seats and everything and they did not like that and because the prices were too high. So who specifically are you targeting? Like what, what age group? What kind of people? Just Families. people that like pets and that want to be around them because if they um, want to go out just for a small little snack, they can also bring their dogs because I know people don't like having their dogs locked up inside. What kind of advertising will you guys be doing? Oh, we have a commercial. Oh, and um, about, there's, um, I try to choose a theme and I try to, the background is kind of different animals, but I couldn't change it to dogs, so that's a little thing. question is, um, you guys know, said that like lemonade, hot chocolate, you're going to bring that in, but do you have snacks and treats for the dogs too? Yeah. Yes, okay. we do. All right. And there are, all of our food will be actually homemade, so we'll have to go out and buy all the ingredients too. Will there be like best or? Yeah. Okay. We also have um, pastries for you to try in there, homemade cream puffs. So who are your suppliers going to be for your uh, materials to make all the products? Like where are you going to get your buns or your you. cream cheese? Thank you. We were thinking like the school has different food companies that supply uh, stuff for our lunches and breakfasts. So we were thinking that maybe we could use one of their companies since you know, we started at school. So maybe we could try and use that. Mm -hmm. Do all uh, five of you like share ownership of this company? Yeah. Yes. yes. All right, well, I personally, I just don't see where I will be able to help you put together your company. I don't think 
I can make an offer that's going to help you guys get where you want to go. So for that reason, I'm out. I'm interested, but I want to know what your projected sales are for the first year or over the first two years. I actually have a profits infographic. This is last call for any students who need to have their spring picture taken. If you do, please go to the cafeteria right now. Sell the best and like how many people would, like, would buy it and such. So, that's our profits. Well, this is a great idea, but I am not a dog person personally, so I'm gonna oh, have to. What we did, we're deciding is that in the future, not right now, mm -hmm. that we might. So, once we expand to other areas in the United States, we're gonna try to open up to maybe cats, cat cafes, to maybe, maybe even reptiles, like different kinds of animals. Well, I'm still, I'm not really an animal person, so I'm going to have to back out of this one. I'm ready to make an offer. Um, I'll throw $20,000 for 20 dollars your company. Okay. Okay. I'll uh, do the same. What the difference? It's not better. I know a lot about dogs, and I could really help you guys. I, I love a, dogs. I have a cafe chain. I was a founder of Starbucks, so. Uh, well, I'm on the way to New York. Well, I'm going to take less of your company for giving you your sixteen thousand dollars. You know, eighteen percent. Girls, you guys are all girls. I'm a girl. I really think that. Uh, <laughs> Where are you going with this one, Barb? <laughs> Experience with these, or oh, yeah, I love dogs. No, I do. No, what? I do. No, I love dogs. I what experience do you have with cafes? I'm a girl with dogs. I don't know. I can help you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a real estate agent. I can help you find like I've a building. I've seen your dog. It's not a cafe. <laughs> 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 we're good. We're good what? Hey, you guys said you wanted to expand. She can expand you all. Yeah, over I America. have real estate. You know, I could get you cheap buildings, multiple locations across the United States. So you start. Wait, wait, wait. You funded Starbucks, right? Part of it, yeah. Oh. Um, Part of it, not much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, personally, I think caribou is a stronger team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We survived in New York. There's no caribou. Okay. Take Barbara's art. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> 